like, look at that one. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. What is up guys, welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter, so good to have you here. So today, we have a super exciting video. We're unloading two different glazed kilns and it's basically what's gonna be in the last restock of the year. So December 12th, this coming Sunday, uh, we have our last restock of the year. It's not gonna be huge, but I've been working my butt off to get as much done as I can in a short amount of time. So. We got spoon rests, as you can see, on the top shelf. We got mugs, we got planters, we got chip and dip bowls, as well as a bunch of glass coasters in there, which is for a different order. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. It's been a phenomenal 2021. We had our third boy, Oliver, who's doing very well. Uh, so thank you guys all so much for following along. Shout out to all the patrons who follow me over on Patreon. They always get first pick of what they want in the restocks and they get coupons and discounts too as well. So if you want to join the Patreon community, head over there. Let's unload this kiln. It's very exciting. Very, very exciting. There is like a lot of pots to unload today. So I might fast forward through some of this, but whoa, yeah. So this is Northern Lights with red. I like this shape of mug. I've started doing this shape because it really lets the glaze drip down a lot and it'll catch it. So opposed to like the opposite shape where it goes out, then it'll kind of flow more, but this catches lots. So I like that a lot. All right, so I've started making these spoon rests a lot because I can sell them for a pretty low price, relatively speaking, because I can make them so fast. All right, so we got red and bright red and aurora green and this is midnight rain and winter wood spoon rests basically if you don't know what i use what you would use the spoon rest for it sits right in your kitchen when you're cooking and you're stirring stuff up if you're you know you want to rest your spoon somewhere so your counters don't get all dirty then you get one of these guys so here is a that's cool so a chip and dip so it's got a bowl in the middle you know, you put chips around here, salsa in here, you put veggies around here, you put dip in here. Started, I've made these for a long time, but actually what I do is I throw them in two separate pieces now and then I glaze them together, uh, which I really liked that a lot. I think you can just control how much clay is in there better and it's still like super solidly connected. So that's good. Oh yes, carved Canyon Sky mugs. Those are super nice, really good, wow. Yeah, really good. Two of those. And then some more carved canyons, guys. Yeah, got four of those. Those are nice. And then a planter. So this is that Aurora Green over bright red. And so you can see where the bright red is. Those are fingerprints. So when I dip them in the glaze, I don't worry as much about my fingerprints. And so I dip it once in one glaze and I dip it another time in another glaze. So you can see where the fingerprints were, which I like. I think that's a cool feature of the piece is that you can actually see the fingerprints. Nice. The Northern Lights Chip and Dip. That is gorgeous. Woo! That is sweet. Northern Lights with red. And then there's quite a few of these in here, which are that Aurora Green over bright red. So it's got the red on the inside, Aurora Green. And then it's got a spiral bottom, which I like a lot. And I'm actually using a different kind of clay than I've been using for most of this year. I'm using buff stoneware because continental clay has been out of bee clay for a while now, like a couple months. And because of the supply chain crisis and what's going on, they haven't been able to make it, which has been unfortunate, but I used to use buff stoneware all the time. So went back to that for a little while. Planter, kind of a funky shape planter, Canyon Skies. Uh, huzzah! All right, and then we got a planter that's Northern Lights with red. Oh man, that's awesome. That is sweet. So that's four different glazes that are layered on there. Black gloss, metallic green, buttercream, and then red underglaze. Layer it on and let it run. That looks really cool. 
I have a ton of these. I'm not going to show you all these because they're all the same, but they have a custom logo on the bottom. So these are for a corporate Christmas gift. Chip and dip, lavender mist. Aurora green and red. That's These are northern lights and those are uh, midnight rain over winter wood. That lavender mist is really nice. Got one little drip here, but I can grind that off and that'll still be totally fine. We got quite a few of these. That Those turn out absolutely perfect. Northern Lights, that drips right down to the bottom. Love it. Spiral Aurora Green over bright red. Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. Midnight Rain over Winter Wood. More of the same, more of the same. There's those. Boom, red. Oh, nice. Dang, got a little drippage. But, so, Northern Lights to Buttercream. That turned out really good. It dripped a little bit. This one did not drip at all, so that's perfect. This is an interesting one, a little different handle for me. So it's got a four finger handle, right? So bigger handle, carbs, canyon skies. Same, you've seen these. Planter, lavender mist planter, midnight rain planter, a spiral northern lights planter, lavender mist and raspberry mist. Nice, that's super good looking. Look at that, that's so cool. I just love how it's purple to blending to pink to purple and then it's purple on the inside. So, really cool. Love those. Yes! Those, those are awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that was kill number one. I haven't counted how many were in there, but it was a lot, probably 60 or something like that. Now we got kill number two, which isn't quite as full and it's also got a ton of these coasters so, I'll probably just fast forward through a bunch of this one, but two in a couple interesting things. I'm still looking for like the perfect like beachy vibe glaze combo, right? So, coral sands and sandstone over Norse blue, beachy vibe. Also coral sands over over sandstone, but then blue surf on the bottom. There's, I love that little drip right down there. Those are cool, what do you think? Yes, no. This was another tester of mirror black, which I thinned it out a lot because mirror black has a tendency to just run a lot, but it's not quite as shiny. It's quite, it's not a food safe glaze, so you can only put it on the outside of stuff, but nah, I don't know. Not super happy. It's okay, whatever. Oh, there's also a bunch of marble pieces in here. I forgot about that. So drippy marbled. That's the canyon or the Northern Lights over marble. And then here's the, oh yeah, oh yeah. So that red, I really like using the red a lot, but I find that if you use too much of it, it's just kind of overpowering and looks not good, like it looks fake. But that Aurora Green over red for a chip and dip, that looks really good. Coaster Mania. All right, so I think the order was for 60 coasters. And since none broke in this kiln, thank goodness, uh, then I should be done. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, so here we go. Marbled mugs with marbled handle. Got a bunch of them in here. Those were all super popular last time. And this is a really thin handle. Really nice, really nice feeling. Got kind of an indent right there that your thumb just fits perfectly in. Yeah, look at that, that's sweet. All right, so these are probably the most exciting pieces of both kilns, I would say. These, oh yes, these just like, I'm so happy. Marbled, blue surf inside, clear gloss glaze outside, and marbled handle. This, these could be some of the best stuff I've made all year. Oh, just really good, really good. Nice shape on that one. Oh, those look so good with the clear gloss glaze. And the marble handle, oh, I love it so much. Look at that. Look at that, so happy. Look at this, this was a little one, the handle fell off, so I just cut the handle off, left it there as like a little like thing, but it's kind of a nice little tumbler. Okay, so many good things in here. Here's kind of a, a different shaped chip and dip. So it's, I just had like a little kind of a plate platter thing that I connected the bowl to, so that's cool. Here's another kind of different shape that I haven't done much of. Just kind of like goes in and then right out at the, at the top. Very cool. Look at that. Look at that. 
here are just some Norse blue t drippy tumblers. I'm liking that tumbler shape, kind of like a wine glass. Feels good in the hand. Okay, 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 okay. I got a few more of these. I really made quite a few of these because they are sweet. It's so fun to like, look at that one. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Yes. I'm really happy with that. It's a great, it's a great way to end the year to have those marbled handles, a bunch of them. Those handles are all gonna be so like different, you know, you'll kind of look and it's just, there's a lot going on. So these just have black gloss around the rim and on the inside, they're kind of just like straight sided tumblers. Which yeah, those are cool because you can feel the drip, the drip of the glaze. I like that a lot. That's really, those are really nice. Getting down there, almost finished. Blue surf on the inside, clear gloss on the outside. Just got like four more of those. Yes, so fun. All right, that, my friends, was some full kilns. So now I'm gonna count them to see where we're at. We got, I mean, basically we got four, one, two, three, four, five boards full of finished pots. Uh, and all of it is gonna be up for sale Sunday, December 12th, our last restock of the year. Everything will should get shipped to you by Christmas for sure. Um, all the orders that are placed in the first day or two will definitely be shipped out that week. So we have plenty of time to get to Christmas. If I can finish anything else, I might throw some other pots up there at some point before Christmas, but this is probably it. So if you wanna get a pot, if you wanna get a Christmas present for someone, I'd super appreciate it. I love all your guys' support. Thank you so much for following along with the YouTube channel and Instagram and all the other things. We have some really fun and exciting things planned and going on in 2022. Uh, some pottery related, some not. Some coffee shop related might be opening another location of Mocha Monkey, which is very exciting. So stay tuned for that, but there will certainly be lots of pottery content to come as well. So thank you guys all so much for joining. See you guys in the next video.